Um, right. That's so you're preparing someone to be open to absurd, wrong things. Now, this is very vague, so we probably will talk about that in a minute. But here we go. The million dollar question. How is teaching kids about gay issues grooming, but teaching kids about straight people isn't? Well, one's abnormal. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, maybe this will be the debate that I actually end up posting on my channel if it doesn't end up being super insufferable, which, no offense, based on our previous conversations, it probably will be. So, Oh, come on. I'm at least a little entertaining. You might be a little entertaining, but usually it's entertaining in like a bad way. It's like being entertained at a freak show. You know, you're like, well, I feel really bad for these people, but at least they're entertaining. So <laughs> you sent me a message. You don't, you don't like freak shows? You sent me a message which says 4,500 FDA approved therapies are recalled every year. Talking about trans or gay issues to children is grooming. Both true. Uh, okay, so I'm going to actually take notes this time because I think that we have a little bit of a misunderstanding here whenever people have this conversation. So let's focus on the one thing at a time. Teaching kids about gay and trans issues. Okay. Is and grooming. Issues is grooming. That's your... Um... And it's grooming in a negative sense. Like, you could be groomed to be the new president of the company. No, That's I, not I, know, I know. Obviously, when we're saying it's not grooming... not necessarily a bad thing, but... Yes. Obviously, in this context, we're talking about negative grooming. So, can you define grooming for me and how you feel this fits that definition? Uh, it's just preparing someone to be open to absurd, wrong things. Okay. So I'm going to ask right? you the I'm so, going to ask you so, the million dollar question here. Okay. So a pedophile so a pedophile gets a child accustomed to their genitals and showing them off and that sort of thing. Right. Yeah, that's that would be fucked up, of course. Um, right. That's so you're preparing someone to be open to absurd, wrong things. Now, that's very vague. So we probably will talk about that in a minute. But here we go. The million dollar question. How is teaching kids about gay issues grooming, but teaching kids about straight people isn't? Well, one's abnormal. One's not. Teaching kids about straight issues is Okay, so it's not grooming because it's not abnormal. Correct? That's one part of it. So, and you, go ahead. My question is, if we, dis if we were able to talk and if somehow you were able to be convinced that there's nothing absurd or wrong about being gay or being trans, would it no longer be grooming to teach kids about those things? Uh, you yourself said gender dysphoria is a mental disorder, I believe you said. Yeah, that's this is a little bit of a different uh, aside the point, though. We can talk about that in a second. I'm just wondering if, if, for example, we argued and then I was able to convince to you that there's nothing abnormal or absurd or wrong about being gay or trans, would teaching kids about gay and trans issues no longer be considered grooming? And it'd still just be mildly inappropriate, I guess, if, if all those things were perfectly okay and normal and not okay. freakish. Not I, I don't, just... So, okay, mildly inappropriate. Is it mildly inappropriate for kids to learn about straight people or go to a wedding mm -hmm. or see mommy and daddy kissing or see a Disney movie with, uh, with straight people in it? Um, mm, I'm not big on Disney movies, but the rest of it seems fine. Okay, so why is the one then inappropriate and the other isn't? Assuming just for the beginning of this argument that there is actually nothing abnormal or wrong about being gay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge leap you want me to make. I, I don't know how to I'm just wondering. I just want to make sure before we dive into this, that this is actually your argument. Because if we argue for an hour that it's actually not absurd or wrong or abnormal to be gay or to be trans, I don't want you to say, well, I still think it's grooming because of X, Y, and Z. All right, I won't do that. Okay. 
So I wrote down your position, so and it is teaching kids about gay and trans issues is grooming because you're preparing someone to be open to absurd and wrong things. Teaching kids about straight issues is not grooming because it's not abnormal. Does that summarize it okay? It's not, it's not absurd. It's not wrong. It's, it's yeah, it's Because it's way not the absurd, wrong, oh, abnormal, wrong, or absurd. Okay. So there's nothing. Where do I want to start with this? Okay, so what makes being gay wrong? Uh, you're <laughs> you're putting together the same genitals when they're supposed to be opposite. Who says they're supposed to be opposite? Like you're you're making very large claims here. Is maybe according to your opinion, or maybe according to your own preference, that would be wrong. For me, I'm straight. It would be pretty wrong in my opinion, for me to try to have sex with another man, because that's not what I'm, I'm attracted to. But when I say that wrong, be, that would be abnormal for you, correct? Well, well, even if it was abnormal for me, doesn't mean that it shouldn't be learned about in general sense that it's not abnormal to simply be gay. Does that make sense? Right. So let's say, let's say my purple haired teacher likes to stomp on kittens with her high heels. Okay. Should we? Should she be allowed to talk about that? We're not talking about, like, just talking about stomping on kittens or something. And I don't see what the point. I don't even know what that has to do with anything. In that case, you're actually acting in a way that is animal abuse, um, and that would probably traumatize the kids with a story like that. I, this is very, very disanalogous. I'm wondering <laughs> why you're saying it's grooming <clears throat> to teach kids about being gay. We'll start with gay, and then we'll go into trans. To be gay, or excuse me, not to be gay, but that it's okay to be gay, um, because you're saying it's wrong. How is it wrong? How is gayness wrong? Yes, what makes it wrong to be gay? Uh, I don't know. Like nature? Uh, biology? So nature and biology? Thousands of years of human history and I mean nature, biology, and what else? Or reproduction. Thousands so that's, of years. That's of, wait, of that's really history. your point as to why it's wrong? Is because of nature, biology, and reproduction. This is why you believe it's wrong. <laughs> I believe it's wrong because it's wrong. Long. That's I not, no, 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 that's a tontology. Who, that's ridiculous. Okay. This is like me saying, no, no, no. If I told you right now that I think you're dumb because you're dumb, I think that you would say, that's not very fair. Why am I dumb? That's not very fair. You think I'm dumb because I'm a conservative. No, I actually don't even think you're dumb because you're conservative. I think you're dumb because you're dumb. <laughs> there you go. That's a we'll have piss an poor argument. Discussion. You know that that's a piss poor argument. So, when I ask you why being gay is wrong, you don't really seem to have a strong grasp as to why other than nature, biology, and reproduction, which are all, by the way, horrible arguments that I could disprove in like a second, but I rather want to just dig into this a little bit more. Is that really why you think it's wrong? Um, it's not that I think it's wrong. I know that it's abnormal. Well, we already therefore, established that it's abnormal. Therefore, but... I intuit that it's wrong. Okay. So you're saying because it's not normal, that makes it wrong. So yes. what, what is normal? Uh, the other 99% of people. That's not what determines if something's normal or not. What, Would you what say, for example, let me ask you a what? question. If I said it's wrong to be a millionaire, and then you said, Hunter, why is it wrong to be a millionaire? And I said, it's abnormal. Is that fair? Does that mean it's probably. wrong to be a does that probably, does that mean it's wrong to argument. be a millionaire? It's It's not just like anybody can be a millionaire though. It's not like okay. you can wake up tomorrow and say, "Hey, I'm no, a millionaire." Not everybody but, can just be But you be can gay. wake up tomorrow, but you can wake up tomorrow and say, "Hey, I want some hairy man ass." No, that's not how it works to be gay. You're not just picking that, okay? Just like you didn't wake up one day and decide that you are straight. So would that be a sound argument in your opinion if I said being a millionaire is wrong 
because it's abnormal. Because technically speaking, it is. It's it's a terrible analogy because that's not accessible to everyone. No, no, no. It's regard. It doesn't matter if it's accessible to everybody. Being gay is not accessible to everyone either. Oh, it absolutely is. No, it's not. There's a genetic component to it, my dude. Oh, they've identified that gene now. There's not one gene. There are several they've different genes that all work together. They've identified the the several genes that work together. Yes. Oh, I've never seen that. They I know probably you got haven't. a name I, for the. They probably got a name for the loci on the chromosome and everything. No, it's it's a mix of, of various hundreds of, of different genes that all work together to essentially oh, make people to be genetically predisposed to being gay. Hundreds. And there's no environmental. No, there's there are environmental reasons as well. Our genes interact oh. with the environment. That's how the world works. So, yeah. But you so, saying, well, so, it's not accessible to everybody. That's not true, actually. We live in a, the America, right? If people work hard and uh, uh, focus on their dreams. They're supposed to be able to achieve being a millionaire. If you have, an, if you have an ADIQ, you're not going to be a millionaire. Hold on. That's not accessible to everyone. Hold on. There are a lot of people that have lower IQs that have still made very successful uh, life choices and are still in positions of, of immense wealth, Okay. You saying it's not accessible to everybody is actually not fair because people do not just choose to be gay, whereas people can actually work hard to become a millionaire. It's more accessible to be a millionaire than to just be gay. So, so if I said it's wrong choose... to be a millionaire because it's abnormal, do you think that's a sound argument? Do you think that because it's abnormal, it is now wrong to be a millionaire? Mm, no. Okay. So the abnormal point makes no sense. Do you understand that? Because if there's other things that you now acknowledge that are abnormal, that you're totally fine with. It being abnormal doesn't have anything to do with whether or not you determine if it's wrong. That's why it's an unfair argument for you to bring up in regards to gay people. All right. We can move on to the next one then. Well, point, point I want to ask you another thing, though. Being gay is becoming more and more accepted and is also becoming yes. more and more normalized. So... If we yes. get to a place where it is more normal, are you okay with gay people then? It wouldn't matter because humans ain't going to be around for long. So it's not going to really matter what anybody thinks about it. It's just going to wipe out the human race. No, it's – okay, that's fucking stupid. Stop saying that. I'm asking you a hypothetical question, okay? If being gay became more and more normalized as it is, would you then be okay with it? Uh, no, I I believe even if 99% of the world was gay, it would still be wrong. Okay, so the abnormal point has nothing to do with this. So let's take that it away. Can, you can no it longer can be say, socially accepted. It can be socially accepted. That's what determines if something's spread. normal. That's what determines if something is normal. It is all social. It doesn't make it right. Okay. So then don't bring up the abnormal point to say that being gay is wrong. You're contradicting your own argument. Let's take the abnormal thing out. Doesn't make sense. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. So no more abnormal talk. Okay. So why is being gay wrong? Because it's counter to everything in nature. It is not. If like, I were able to hypothetically demonstrate to you that there are actually a fuck ton of animals that exhibit homosexual behavior and there's even evolutionary reasons as to why some animals are gay, would you then say it's okay to be gay? There's an evolutionary reason. I want to hear the yes. evolutionary reasons why animals would be gay. Go ahead. Sure. So uh, chimps, for example, will oftentimes engage in homosexual acts or bisexual acts if you want to get really technical. And the reason for that is because they don't view sex as only a reproductive thing, just like humans don't view sex as only a reproductive thing. They, they, also they don't have higher order view, thinking either. They also engage in sex for social bonding and social reasons. Male lions, for example, will have sex with other male lions because it strengthens the bond and the trust amongst the lions and therefore strengthens the entire pride. So there well, are evolutionary shows, shows, reasons. As it shows work. superiority is what it does. It's like a prison house mentality. No, right? it's not. Like, like my dog humps another male dog to let him know that he's in charge. No, it's not. a. That's not a, at all. Okay, this is males that's, choose that's to have dominance. sex with other males to strengthen the bond of the uh, entire pride. This isn't I'm going to show you dominance and fuck you in the ass. 
No, that is exactly what it is. It's no, dominance. It's not. I, just a second I am ago, in you said it wasn't. You. Just a Do second ago, you. Do not challenge me. This is my pride. That's this is my pack. True. Nope. And that creates order within the pack because there's less fights. No. And even if that were the case, then now you're explaining me to me an evolutionary reason as to why homosexuality is witnessed in nature. You call it homosexuality. I call it fucking sex play and domination. Let's see. Is a man who fucks another man in prison to show his dominance? Is he gay? Even though when he gets out of prison, he just has sex with girls? No. So why is the dog? Hold on. Or the lion? I'm going to pull up a source for you. Male lions pair bond for a number of days and initiate homosexual activity with affectionate nuzzling and caressing, leading to mounting and thrusting. About 8% of mountings have been observed to occur with other males. Oh, so it's abnormal. So, so it's... No. So it's it, the the <laughs> argument is not it's abnormal. Okay, you already it's dismissed well that. It's out one. of the norm. Hold on, Shh, stop bringing up the abnormal thing. We already dismissed that. You're not allowed to bring that up anymore. Okay, you're the boss. The, your argument was that it's unnatural, and I'm now giving you a direct contradiction to what you said. In nature, there's homosexual behavior, and now even more so, it's not just sex. They're acting in ways that are showing love towards another lion, bonding, thrusting, nuzzling caressing okay somebody can clip that if you want it's fine but <laughs> that's the kind of shit that they are engaged in this is not a dominance thing this is the opposite so now i'm able to prove to you that there is actually animals that engage in homosexual behavior just like thousands of other animal species on a very limited basis no of the time. there are literally over 1500 animal species that have been witnessed engaging in homosexual behavior. So why are you saying it's unnatural? Because it happens a very small percent of the time. It doesn't matter if it happens a small percent of the time. The argument is that it's unnatural. It doesn't snow all the time, but we wouldn't say it's unnatural if it snows. It is a part of nature. Homosexuality is quite common in the animal kingdom, especially among herding animals. Many animals solve conflicts by practicing same gender sex. One <laughs> fundamental premise this... in social deba debates, this comes from newsmedical.net uh, from 2006, mind you. So this isn't exactly brand new information from the lefty cucks. One fundamental <laughs> premise is social debates. Uh, what, sorry. One fundamental premise in social debates has been that homosexuality is unnatural. This premise is wrong. Homosexuality is both common and highly essential in the lives of a number of species, explains an academic advisor for the Against Nature's Order exhibition. The most well-known homosexual animal is the dwarf chimpanzee, one of humanity's close relatives. The entire species is bisexual. Sex plays a conspicuous role in all their activities and takes the focus away from violence, which is the most typical method of solving conflicts amongst primates and other animals. Hey, isn't that what I just said? It establishes dominance, so there's less It violence. doesn't establish dominance. It plays a role, and it takes their activity, or that takes their focus away from violence. This isn't a dominance thing. Alphas don't take bottom, bro, even in the animal kingdom. Wait, sh stop. You're just you're you're making a claim and then I'm giving you obvious evidence that pr disproves what you just said and now you're rambling on again. You said it it's like it was making Hold on. Case. Be quiet. You said it is unnatural. It is not unnatural. It is witnessed in thousands of animal species. So how then are you getting the, the uh, coming to the conclusion that it is unnatural? Because we have specific sexual organs that are complementary like an asshole and a dick <laughs> to some people those are complementary okay you can be grossed out by gay sex all you want okay i'm not here to stop you from having your own feelings i can't do that i am here to tell you that you're wrong when you say it's unnatural we already I mean, disproved a hole, the... In the, a hole in the wall is complementary to my penis. We I also mean... disprove. No, it's not just that. There are reasons why in nature we see homosexual behavior as well. Right. Okay. It solves conflicts. It strengthens bonds. 
So yeah, let's go again. So we're we the just... pack order. So let's go back to what we said. You said it was unnatural. It is literally by definition not unnatural. So you can't so, say it's unnatural continue. just like that's, you can't say the two... abnormal thing. Hey, that's two points for Hunter. I'll let you have that. You want to move on to trans? No, I want to keep focusing on the gay thing. <laughs> there are animals that have exhibited certain trans behaviors as well, but being trans is a far more uh, like social identity, whereas being gay <laughs> is a sexual a orientation. That's great. You, didn't, you don't need to see a dog doing that for it to be a thing. Okay. You've also never seen a lion engage in homosexual activity, yet it's happening. So you cannot appeal to the natural thing. Furthermore, even if we An wanted to— Animals engage in animal behavior. That's true. Furthermore— if we also wanted to engage with your argument in a different way, I could simply write off entirely the nature argument. For example, if you said, well, we don't see trans people in nature, I would say, who gives a shit? Something being natural does not determine whether or not it is better. Rape happens in uh, the animal kingdom. That's natural. Doesn't mean it's acceptable. Medicine is not natural. We produce that, and it's far more functioning than natural herbs, for example. Pooping so on the toilet is argue, not natural, but yet so we do it. you're telling me you're arguing a position you don't actually believe in? No, I'm telling you that there are both two different ways that I can d uh, destroy the dumb claim you just made. Okay. Okay. So, we've now written off the abnormal. So, being gay is normal. Yep. It's not weird. And it's also not unnatural. We can cross that's those two out. Now we have right. biology. I'm not sure what that's kind of, I don't know how we would go about that. Like that's, that's kind of the that same was, thing. That was, that was complementary genitalia would be biology. Okay, and then we have reproduction. And reproduction would be biology. Okay, so who cares if people reproduce or not? This doesn't, why does this make <laughs> it wrong? Wait, why does who this make it? people reproduce? No, no, no. Why does this make it wrong if somebody doesn't have the ability to reproduce? Why would reproduction be important? Okay. No, not why is it important. Reproduction is, of course, important, but that doesn't mean that it's necessary. wrong to not reproduce. Uh, I don't know. Most people I know without kids have kind of a hole in their life and, and really don't. I don't care. That doesn't matter. <laughs> you realize the common denominator there is that they all know you. Maybe that's why they have the hole in their life. Like we could, we could do this all day, man. Like you can't just appeal to your anecdotes. Okay. Who cares if they reproduce or don't reproduce? That doesn't mean it's wrong. And if it is, are you then going to tell me it's wrong for a straight couple to get married? If for example, the man has had a vasectomy or the girl doesn't have a uterus. It would be unfortunate for them, and I believe their lives would be less full. Less full is not uh, is irrelevant. That's for them to determine. You said it's wrong. You're making a moral claim. Well, the reason their lives would be less full is because something's missing. They can also adopt. So this is really not a very strong point. What is the reproduction thing? Why does that make it wrong? Having your life not as fulfilled as you want it to be is not the same as it being wrong well it's slightly wrong if it's diminishing your quality of life no not if it's the choice that you want to make it would also diminish your quality of life to be restricted from marrying the person you love in the case of a homosexual consensual relationship possible i'll give you that so we can write off the reproduction thing if you want. No, I not if I want. I want you to understand, just like I was able to explain to you the abnormal thing and the unnatural thing. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm not going to argue any further on that. Okay. So if you are not able to reproduce, that doesn't mean it's wrong to be in that relationship. You might not like it. You might think that their lives will be less fulfilled, but that does not mean it is morally wrong. Do you agree with that? Sorry, I walked away for a second. I agree, yes. Okay. So we now are able to just cross off everything on the list as to why being gay is wrong. Yep. So, so being gay is totally fine, totally natural. Right. We'll go under that presumption. So is it grooming then to teach kids about gay issues? Um, yeah. Okay. 
Remember Sorry. we had this no, conversation. No, I said I wouldn't do that. I said I wouldn't do that, didn't I? Well, it's not. I don't want you to just not do it for the sake of it. I, I want you to sincerely be trying to follow this logic with me here. Okay. So, what? Why is it grooming now? Do you believe in social contagion? This is in completely aside the point. We're talking about no, a sexual orientation not. right now. We'll have the trans Wait, conversation is it next. Orientation or is it identity? Which is it? Trans issues are identity. Gay issues are sexual orientation. We'll have the trans conversation next. Is teaching kids about gay issues grooming? If now we have acknowledged that there's nothing wrong with being gay, according to what you have determined is wrong. I mean, if you're not a Christian, it's probably totally fine. Okay. So if you're not if you're not a godly person in general or religious person in general, it's yeah, I mean, so the only that, that, objection you have, argument. so the only objection I'm, you I'm have not of being a, gay is the Christianity thing. I'm not going to have a Christian debate with you. That would probably be smart. Not to mention you could probably make a stronger case that it's grooming kids to be religious to raise them in a Christian environment than simply teaching them about being gay or excuse me, teaching them that gay people exist. So teaching about gay issues is not, in fact, grooming. Uh, it depends what age you're exposing them to it. Okay. So this is and exactly it depends, why. It depends what you have to tell them to explain what being gay is. Okay, let's go for the earliest age that I'm aware that some form of sex education is introduced, like around the age of six or seven, okay? If we're talking about kids who are learning the names of body parts, I think that's okay because it prevents them from being abused. And then in the process, you say, you know what? Some people, you might have a mommy and a daddy. That's a boy and a girl and they love each other very much. But some people also love other boys. Boys can love boys and girls can love girls. There are different ways to have different relationships. And so some of your friends might have a mom and a dad. Other uh, other friends you have might have two moms or two dads and both of those are acceptable ways to have a family you don't have to mention sex or genitalia or anal sex or something obviously that would be inappropriate but in that context is that grooming it's it's highly distasteful and it's why is it very distasteful creepy. and it's very creepy why is it creepy because you've already said it's not creepy for kids to learn about straight people. Right. Hey, Mods, that's I want you they, to watch. Uh, I, sorry. That, Mods, keep your ahead. eyes on uh, on Gior Juicy. They're spamming groomer in the chat. Go ahead and uh, let uh, if he doesn't join the discord here in the next five seconds, then you can just perma ban him. OK, anyway. So I'm thinking about starting a new thing about starting a new uh, Twitter page called the Marxist Groomers of Twitch. What do you think of that? I don't care about any of this. So let's go back again. You've already, ex ex excuse me, you've already conceded that teaching kids about straight issues is not get grooming because it's not wrong, abnormal, or absurd. Now right. we've we're acknowledged that children, being gay we're teaching children is not the way the world works. Yes, that's, yes. that's a good thing. Same with being gay. We're teaching kids how the world works. Some people are gay, some people are straight, and that's okay. Why is this Should we distasteful? Also teach people that some guys like to be, I don't know, dressed in a gimp suit and whipped? No, that's an inappropriate thing. Just like you wouldn't tell kids, some mommy and daddies like to dress up in lingerie and have big dildos. <laughs> like, you don't need to tell the explicit details, and I think you know that. You're arguing kind of in bad faith right now. A little what? bit. What? Okay, so why is it bad? Because gay is wrong. You've okay. Oh my god, dude. Are you purposely trying to make me like get mad at you or what? What I'd like to do is talk about the trans issue, which no, is so you easy. started with so the gay easy. thing. No, you started with the gay thing. We're not moving on to anything until we get past the gay thing. All right. How is teaching right. kids about straight issues not grooming? And you said it is not grooming because it is not abnormal, wrong, or absurd. Now we have established that it is not abnormal or uh, absurd to teach kids about gay issues. So why is it bad to teach kids about gay issues? 
I got nothing. So you have absolutely no understanding or reason. This is the problem is that you have a feeling in your tummy that says gay people are kind of icky and that's what you're holding on to. It's not that gay people are icky. It's that, yeah, what they do is icky. Okay, I don't care. There are some straight couples that engage in certain sex that I think is fucking gross too. But it doesn't mean that people shouldn't learn about straight people existing. Right. They shouldn't learn about kink, right? Of course not. Never once did I advocate for this. Why? And, and you don't think gay is kink? No, you can engage in kinky gay sex just like you can engage in kinky straight sex. We're not talking about this. We're talking about people getting married, especially if we're talking to small kids. They would understand that some people have mom and a dad. Some people have two moms. Some people have two dads. We're not having a nobody, sex talk. Nobody has actually, nobody actually has two dads, right? Yes, every they person do. Came from some, kids are, no, every person, some kids are adopted. Every person okay. came from a man and a woman. Stop. Some kids are adopted. But they came from a man and a woman. Doesn't matter. If somebody's adopted, <laughs> wait, so you're telling me that if there's an adopted child, you would look that kid in the eye and say, you know, those aren't your real parents. You were, they're not your biological parents. No, they are your parents. So some kids have a mom and a dad. So, some kids have two moms. Some kids have two dads. Unless so you are willing to concede to me that it's just a feeling, then we're not going to get past this. You have no reason why it is bad to be gay. You have no reason then why it is wrong to let kids know that gay people also exist. I don't think that's anything that a six or seven or an eight or a nine or a 10 year old needs to know. You already said it's fine if they know about straight people. Yeah. Why? That's because they had, that's because they came from a union of a man and a woman. You're making this more sexual than, than even the, what I'm suggesting in regards to teaching kids about gay people. I didn't say teach them that. I said that's why you teach them. No, that. that's not why you teach them that. You teach them that so that they have a better understanding of social groups and you raise a more accepting group of children who is more accepting of people with different quote unquote lifestyles. Although being gay itself is not a lifestyle, having two moms or two dads could be considered a lifestyle in one way or another. And in that case, kids should be accepting of it. We're not going to be able to get to the trans issue, my dude, if all you have is, well, it makes me uncomfortable. Well, and it's, yeah. And it's not good to tell a person with two dads that they came from two dads. That's not what they're saying. They're not saying, do you think seven-year-olds have a good understanding of sex? No. I don't they know, know that mommy and daddy them? are married and they love each other and they give kisses. That's what most six or seven-year-olds know. I certainly hope so. So in the same context, kids could learn that some people have two moms and two daddies. And boys learn that, boy, and little kids learn that boys have a penis and girls have a vagina about that age, right? They would learn that they have certain body parts themselves. Yeah. And they wouldn't know what they're for. You wouldn't be sitting a kid down explaining sex to them at the age of six. And if you are, I would have an issue with that too. Thank you. That's good. That's good. So you, do you see how you keep scrambling everywhere? You, you don't know what to say because you literally don't have an argument. I'll give up. So there's nothing wrong with being gay. I, I concede. Being gay is totally not unnormal. I can it's tell totally that you're being cool. sarcastic. And the sad thing is, is that that's actually true, but you're not willing to accept it because of your feelings. All right. So... You're not going to genuinely change my heart. So the best I can do is sarcastically agree. Well, why are you being sarcastic? <laughs> you don't have an argument, dude. I don't. You're right. All right. Well, I'm glad you were able to admit it. Good. So Sorry. now why should we be teaching Thanks kids for the about conversation? Trans no, no, no. We're not, we're not getting onto so, anything else. So Sorry, why Tom. should we be teaching kids about trans issues? We're not getting into that. If you're not able to keep up with the homosexual conversation and you basically have admitted you have no arguments other than feelings, oh. I'm not going to engage in so another topic with you. you don't want to touch on my other two points? No. Because we're not even Ma able to get through the first massive one. Massive recall. No. Nope. Massive recalls nope. of FDA approved Don't want to. You're not even able to get through the first point. So why would I go <laughs> ahead and pivot to the next one? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You, you don't want to lose. I get it. It's not that I don't want to lose. 
I'm fine talking to you about certain issues. It's that if I'm going to mm -hmm. go through this in a structure and go through your arguments one by one and we're not able to get through the first point, then why should I move on to the next point? We've gotten through it. Do you have to have me just completely change my religion for I the need debate to, to no. be over? Okay. Okay. Thank you. See, you just revealed it. So it's a religious thing that you have an that issue was with a being gay. That was a euphemism. It was, it was an expression. So, yeah, I, the reason I'm not interested in getting into another topic is because the, the, you're, it's not that you're just not convinced. I don't expect you to change your mind overnight, but you're not making any arguments. All you have is, well, it makes me uncomfortable, so it's bad. Well, how about this? <clears throat> I've, made note, I've made note of your arguments, and I plan to consider them. Does that sound sarcastic? No, I okay. appreciate that. So do, you wanna, so do you wanna move on to trans? Someone said I'm not- being Trans honest. indoctrination? Um, chat, what do you think? Should I go into the trans convo? <laughs> thumbs I mean, I up think or that, thumbs down? No, no, it's just, it's, you're, you're super bad faith and you're like really lost in your own feelings here. You're not making any arguments. All you have is just, well, it's kind of icky. It makes me uncomfortable. It's, it's bad. It's wrong. And then we can deconstruct what you mean by that. And you have nothing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I guess if you think people should engage in animalistic behavior to show their. It's not animalistic. Pack, pack order. <laughs> you you were the you one that made the it. nature argument, dude. Yeah, that's because when you see a couple of lions with babies, one's a male. One's a female. You don't ever see two male lions with babies because they kill the babies. Um, is that natural? Is that okay? Like a lion comes along and a female's got it, what's unnatural is the fact babies? that you're so holding on to your feelings here. It's actually really sad. That's a, a unnatural. You know. You know that most rational people like they they are confronted by evidence and then they actually like change their opinion upon said evidence, right? Yeah. You're being yeah, textbook was... irrational right now. So you think you can control your elephant is what you're saying? I think I can what? What'd you say? Control your elephant. I, I keep missing the what you're saying. The, elef the elephant and the rider analogy. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, that's the guys that like to talk about moral foundations. They, they talk about your moral foundations are basically an elephant and you're just a rider. You can direct them a little bit, but you really can't control. I mean, if you wanted to fucking talk about um, uh, these, your moral foundation, I feel like that's where most of this is coming from, is that you have a deeply flawed moral foundation, which is called Christianity. <laughs> okay. So, you all want, right. Well, you want to talk about your religious like faith in the FDA and the CDC? That's not religious faith. Right. It requires a religious. All right, so let's do a summary. We'll thing. talk. We'll talk briefly about the trans issues. Okay, let's do a summary first. You said teaching kids about gay issues is grooming because you're preparing someone to be open to absurd and wrong things. You listed unnatural, abnormal, and reproduction. All of those points you conceded were bad points and have no bearing on the conversation. I We're totally currently going. We are currently going over to the trans issues for a very short time, mind you. Because you are obviously not operating in a place of not only bad faith or good faith, excuse me, you're operating from a place of just pure irrational feelings. So there is nothing wrong with teaching kids about being gay. Gay is off the table. And We're crossing that off. Gay, right? gay is off the table. That's big point for Hunter. Well, yeah, and it could be a point for you too put, if you would just it, admit you're fucking wrong. Put it on the board. I did. Point for Hunter. Don't move so, on to the trans ones. Guys, I'm sorry. I have let's mixed chat, okay? We're going to talk trans issues for another 10 minutes, then I'm kicking this guy. Don't worry. Oh, uh, sorry. Did I stall myself not muted? Sorry, my bad. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So let's talk about the mental disorder that you think is okay to teach children. No. We're going to start with why is teaching kids about trans people wrong? Or grooming, sorry. Because, it's a, because it is, in your words, a mental disorder and mental disorders do not need to be normalized because of social contagion. So there's mental disorder. What are the other reasons why? What are the other reasons why it's bad? 
Uh, shoot. I mean, because no child is trans. That's not true. There are some kids, you know, that have gender dysphoria, right? Uh, before social contagion was a thing, I don't really think so. That's not true. So it sounds like your issue then is social contagion. Well, that's a huge part of it. I mean, right, let's put why do you down. think social... why do you think entire groups of friends come out as trans at the same time? Okay, so we have social contagion, we have mental disorder. Why else is it grooming? Uh, that's enough for me. Okay. So first off, let's hit on the mental disorder. Oh, and it leads to a lot of fucking suicide. So you want to do whatever you can from keeping your kid being trans. Okay. Got it. We have suicide, mental disorder, and social contagion. So the mental disorder is not being trans. That's not what the mental disorder is. The mental disorder is gender dysphoria, which is a result of your self-identification and self-perception differing from your biology. So having gender dysphoria does not make you trans? It does not make you trans, and not all trans people necessarily have gender dysphoria. Furthermore, there are treatments for trans people that remove or alleviate the gender dysphoria, but you wouldn't say that that person ceases to be trans because they no longer have uh, gender dysphoria. Then it's possible to alleviate the depression. No, you can alleviate the gender dysphoria, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So gender dysphoria is the mental illness. Not all trans people have gender dysphoria. So, for example, there are some people real, that have real this... trans people, real trans people. Do, no, right? that's that's called trans medicalism. And I used to buy into that as well. But what it is, is that being trans by definition is a strongly held belief and perception of yourself that differs from your biological makeup. Your gender huh. identity differs from the biological so that, makeup that is usually correlated with said gender identity. Some people so I have a strongly might have a held belief. I have a strongly held belief that being gay is wrong. The, it's not a strongly held belief that may, that matters. It's the fact that it's an identity. It's a socially constructed form of identification. Oh, so it's made up. Well, it's socially constructed. That doesn't mean that it's made up. But it is a result of human so interaction. It's not a real thing. It's a result of human interaction. Do you know what a social construct is? I would love to hear your definition of a social construct. A social is construct? It like the matrix? No. The best way that I can describe a social construct is imagine if no humans were on Earth anymore. Things that are social constructs would no longer exist. So, for example, money. We have tangible paper dollars, but those paper dollars are actually not worth anything on their own. It is instead the fact that we as a society recognize that these paper dollars have a certain set value, and that is we'd a social have, construct. We'd still have currency. We'd still have currency. It's that not currency. Hard. It's money. The type of currency we have right now is socially constructed as far as the value placed on the currency. The currency is not socially constructed. Well, even that, the idea of having a currency doesn't exist in nature. It only exists as a result of humans interacting with each other. I don't know, man. If a crow's got a really nice stone and he's trying to oppress a chick or like a shiny piece of metal, he'll Stop. give it to her. That's Stop. That's Stop. currency. Stop. Cut it out. You, you disagree with that? Yes. That's not what money is or currency, okay? If you're talking about like trading in nature, that's fucking different. So again... The value that we apply to paper dollars is socially constructed. Do you agree or disagree? Um, I agree. Okay. So, similarly, we have certain socially constructed forms of identification. Do you agree or disagree with that? I mean, we identify things. We give them names. We identify ourselves as certain things is what I'm talking about. Self-identification. You, so like, do you agree? If a baby's born and a doctor looks at it and says that's a boy, he's identifying that that's a boy. He's not socially constructing. Well, no. Some... What it is is that they are identifying the sex, and the sex would be male, because the boy has a penis, <laughs> testosterone, and certain chromosomal makeup. The gender are then the expectations and roles that are socially placed on that person because they have a penis. 
Does that make sense? So like, so you take the little baby I, home. Okay. Then you have a big gender reveal party or whatever. You have balloons that are the color blue. Blue is not a social construct, but this idea that blue is for boys is a social. I construct. say blue is a social construct because I'm colorblind and I don't see blue like you do. Do you understand what I mean though? As far as the expectations, it's all about identification. It's not all okay. Wait, I don't know if you're following what I'm saying or not. When you bring a little baby home, if that baby has a penis, you are going to treat it that is. baby in a way that differs from how you would treat a baby that had a vagina. The way that you treat that Probably child. Probably because they're going to act differently because boys and girls. The way act that you treat that child is socially constructed. When you have a little baby boy and you dress them in blue and you paint their room blue and you give them toy trucks to play with, that is all socially constructed. Boys like blue. Boys like trucks. That is a socially constructed expectation that is placed no, on somebody. No, it's not. That's like, that's like inborn, ingrained psychology. Like no, boys are more interested. Like boys are more interested in things and girls are more interested in people. Not necessarily. And even if that were the case, the very stringent that is, expect that is the case. Hold on. The very ex the very uh, uh, stringent emphasis on that is still a social construct. Girls like things also. So we've girls it like as a pattern. Girls like dolls, for example. So when right. you have a little because girl, girls are typically and, more involved with people rather than boys who like things. No, not necessarily. We're talking about children here. They're not more involved with anything. It's up to how the parents yes, raise are. them. That's, that's that's been observed by scientists for generations now. My dude, I'm not saying there are no differences between how or what people like to play with. Okay. Truth of the matter, We're talking though, about accoutrements. Is, the truth of the matter is, if you have a little baby, that baby has not decided yet, oh, I like to play with trucks, or I like the color blue, or I like the color pink, that is socially constructed and placed on that child. I'm not saying that's necessarily a negative, but this idea that you have a vagina, therefore you wear dresses, therefore you like the color pink, therefore you need no, no, to no. be more quiet. Therefore you are a girl. Stop. I'm talking about gender expression. We're not going to get very far if we can't get also, through this. Also okay? known as female. We're not going to get very far if we can't get through this. Do you recognize what I'm describing to you as a social gender expectation? Do you think this is a stereotype that somebody just pulled out of their ass? Or do you think this is based on thousands of years of human biology and observing the way humans are? No. For example, in throughout history, boys have had different gendered expectations that are put on them. That's because they have different tendencies. No. Back in the olden days, boys would wear high heels because it was considered masculine to be taller. Now, if a boy put I on pair, high heels... I have a pair of cowboy boots. Those now, are high heels. If, okay. Now, if a boy wore high Does heels... Does that mean I'm a girl? You, no, a that's not what I'm saying. Try to stick with it, okay? Keep up. I'm describing to you the way that there is socially constructed gendered expectations. That is all I'm saying. So because you are that a has girl. nothing to do with gender. Are, yes, it does. Because you gendered are Gendered expectations are not gender. Because you are a boy, there are going to be expectations placed on you that are purely socially constructed. Do you think, for example, that there is some biological gene or reason why boys wear suits? Because girls like it. Do you think there's a biological reason? Do you think they have, like, the suit gene? No, they do it because girls like it, I said. Okay. What about when they're young? Girls like before a shark. They're girls super, like a shark. Before they're any sexual, sexually active or whatever, okay? Do you That's why male birds have bright colored feathers. Oh, my God. I don't think I'm going to be able to get very far with this. <laughs> Okay. So let me just ask you one question. Why do you think it's okay for a school teacher to teach their six, seven, eight year old students about their mental disorder? One, it's not a mental disorder to have a gender identity that differs from your biology. We already established that. Second of all, the reason it's important for people to learn this is so that they don't end up like you, terribly uneducated, no fucking idea 
about the difference between sex and gender, and then when somebody tries to explain it in the most simple terms imaginable, you just break down. Your brain, I can hear it oozing out of your ears right now. You squeezed it out. I can't help it. You're not making any sense, and you're not able to follow what I'm saying. And this is why I didn't want to get into the trans issue, because you're because you're not able to dumb. comprehend it. You, you want to tell me that you can't explain the difference between gender and sex to a grown-ass man, but you think you need to talk about that to kids? I can explain it. You're just either intentionally obtuse or you got hit in the head growing up one too many times. I've explained it in a way that virtually any rational human being would understand what I'm saying. Even a seven-year-old, huh? Yes. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's talk about the people with gender dysphoria that want nope, to. No, we're done, dude. I'm sorry. We're not going to be able to get any further, okay? Disorder. Unfortunately, you are willingly and, obtuse. And how, I would the, look this and how the hell Go is, ahead and Google hey, listen, sex and gender and the social, difference between those things, listen, okay? If it's a social construct, why is it so important to affirm it if it's just a social construct? Because it's not just a social construct. It is a self-perception of how you identify yourself on the basis of a socially constructed identity. And and why is chemical castration somehow the cure for yeah, that? Yeah, this is exactly why. Okay, that's not what's happening. I'm sorry that you have been so led astray. But either way, like if, what I would do is have a good me, day. If, all right. If a kid goes Try to really hard to just. Says, I think if a kid goes to a psychologist and says, "I think I'm Spider Man," you think the psychologist should say, "Give him a red suit." No, because Spider Man is send not him so, on his way. No, because Spider Man is not a socially so, constructed gender so if identity. A boy, so if a boy comes to a doctor and says, "I think I'm a girl." You think it's okay to say, give him a girl suit, and that's going to fix it. Okay. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. If I were you, I would Did think really hard about what you Did you ever even look at the studies I sent you? Okay. you? You are very incurious about the science on this. I sent you the oh, two biggest studies. Oh, I know. Yes, studies. you care so much about the science. Yes, very smart. I sent you the two biggest you studies, evidence. and you completely ignored them. You are evidence that our public schools are not only failing us, but that why this kind of education is so crucial so that people are able to have a better understanding of the differences between sex and gender and how that plays into the validity of trans people. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get any further with you because we've already established right. that your whole reason for disliking gay people is based on a feeling and uh, you don't even one, just understand last, the basics in regards question, to trans issues. One last question, please. I hope you please. have a good rest of your day and I will uh, see hey, you later. Well don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.